All right. Welcome, everyone. I'm Elise Benin of marketing-mentor.com, and this is the July office hours for the Simplest Marketing Plan, July 2021. And it's summer here, at least. And uh, today, today, uh, I'm going to be talking a little bit about and giving a little demo of the Simplest Marketing Plan and talking about what does it mean when I say simple? Because actually, um, I did a mini retreat a couple of weeks ago. A couple of you were there. And I'm going to have another one coming up actually on the 16th. So I'll just put the link in there if anyone is interested. Because this little half day mini retreat was about removing the obstacles. And sometimes one of the obstacles is the idea that what I've called simple is still a little bit too complicated for people, which is fine. I understand that. And maybe we can even talk in the breakout sessions about what is simple to you, to each of you, because I do think there's a translation issue or an interpretation issue. And so uh, the big idea that I want to start with is uh, I've been thinking a lot about why it seems to take a long time, not too long, I'm not saying a really long time, but it takes a long time for people to really understand this marketing thing and begin to get the hang of it and begin to understand what the tools are that I'm often talking about. And the three tools just to plant the seeds now, strategic networking, targeted outreach, and content marketing. In addition to making your website and your LinkedIn profile, what I call marketing smart, which generally means it's less about you and more about them. Those are kind of the main concepts of the marketing that I teach. And often people, um, you know, buy into the program and get the plan, but find it really hard to remember what the words mean, much less integrate the actual tools into your process. And so I've been thinking, mostly because I studied language in school and I'm very familiar with the experience of learning other languages, which I love doing, but I found that it really takes time and immersion. And maybe we should say that learning to do marketing for oneself is kind of like learning another language. And there is a whole other vocabulary attached to it. And you have to think about it from someone else's point of view, not your own kind of standard internal point of view. And it does take immersion. And so that's why it takes longer than people want it to, to actually get the hang of it and then be able to integrate the ideas into their life and, and really make them habits. And so I, I have a lot of patience and I hope y'all also have a lot of patience with yourselves at, as you begin, whether you're at the very beginning or you've been doing this for a while, to integrate these ideas and these processes into your life because the thing is they really work. And I know we've got people on the call today who have been working at this for a long time and it is working and it is finally working, right? And, um, and so I just wanted to kind of lay that foundation with this new idea that marketing is kind of like learning another language. And the idea of what's simple, so as I said, this came up in the little mini retreat a couple of weeks ago, that when I say, you know, if you do nothing else, do an email newsletter. I've been saying that for a long time. I think I said that on the last office hours and I showed lots of examples of email newsletters. And then I heard from several people like, newsletter, oh, that's a huge ordeal. That's not simple. And so I thought, okay, fair enough. So I'm revising that edict. And now I'm saying, if you do nothing else, do LinkedIn and or a newsletter. Because I personally think that LinkedIn is relatively simple. It's overwhelming. But if you focus on the things that are the most important, then it can be very simple. So you have to 
prevent yourself from getting overwhelmed by it. But LinkedIn, as some of you know, and have experiences, and if you have, if you have had, you know, success stories with LinkedIn, then please do put them in the chat so other people can hear about them. And then when we open the floor at the end, you can share them or you can share them in the breakout sessions. But the truth is that LinkedIn is where the market is. For most people marketing most things, whether B2B or B2C, LinkedIn is where the market is. And so sometimes all you have to do is spend five or 10 or 15 minutes a day on LinkedIn whether you are commenting or sharing or reading or liking, and the more you do, the more effect you will have, but it's all about timing also. And so my new edict, if you will, is if you do nothing else, do LinkedIn. And if you can do a newsletter along with LinkedIn, email newsletter, because as you're building your relationships, and it is a relationship industry, and all business is based on relationships, it's who you know, it's who knows you, right? And so that is one way to build an email list, and then you stay in touch with those people through an email newsletter, which yes, I know it's a big deal, but once you get in the habit of it, it is really one of the most effective marketing tools, and some people even on this call, have experienced what I call newsletter magic, which is when you, you know, just keep sending out your newsletter, not expecting a result, not expecting people to write back, and then suddenly they do out of the blue with a project. That's newsletter magic.